two things has happened here. Either we have been shrunken very tiny <laughs> and we're standing next to some regular sized Rubik's cubes, or we are at Surge Adventure Park in Regency and we are about to talk to Gene and learn about everything that goes on here. Gene, thanks for having us. We love these type of field trips, you know, getting out of the studio, having fun. Can you give us an overview of what this place is all about? Well, first, we're really happy to have you here today. Um, right now, we're doing a lot of field trips, for, and including the summer camps that are located throughout town. Uh, this is a great place to get away, to expend energy. Um, we've got, of course, playgrounds, we've got the beach, but on rainy days, where do you go? And this is, this is a great outlet for young people. You can really exercise all your muscle groups. And as you see, there are children throughout the park today just having a good time. And let's talk about that, really getting families active. It's so important to do. And you have such a variety where kids are having fun, but yet they're still getting exercise at the same time. What our goal is for families to have fun here in a safe environment. That, that is part of our mission statement. And we do our very best to make sure that they have a, a good time and a safe time. What, what are some things that are unique to serve? We are completely oriented toward the guest. Um, but as far as our attractions go, we do have the Ninja Course, we've got Wipeout, we've got some amazing climbing activities back here. We of course do, do parties as well. And then let's talk about pricing and things like that. I feel like you always have a promotion. Where can people learn? Because it's always changing. We have an app that you can download either from Google Play or from, from the uh, Apple Store. And that app regularly has shows all our promotions as well as some exclusive promotions just for people who have the app. So one of the things that we talked about too is before we went on camera was that you have been taking a lot of safety protocols. For example, antimicrobial treatments on some of the equipment. In fact, there's some equipment that might normally be clear, but because you've coated it with this antimicrobial, it may not look that way right now. But also we're to watch a video. We are going to get a little lesson on how to have a good time, but not get hurt. Right, as well as having court monitors located throughout the park who will watch your behavior, make sure you're playing in a safe way because we want to prevent you from getting hurt. Thank you, because I don't want any of these bigger kids to knock me <laughs> off anything. Like, you know, I'm talking about this. Thing. No, no, right. no. Right. And Jean, where can people go to learn more? The app is a wonderful place. They can also go to Facebook. We have a page on Facebook and I regularly upload Facebook Live, uh, uh, shoot throughout the park so they can see our birthday parties that are in action. They can see people playing throughout the park so they can get a real sense of what it's like to be here even when they're at home at, in the comfort of just watching their computer screen. And speaking of being comfortable, they have massage chairs if you're the mom that gets to sit and watch everybody else play. I'm not that mom, but it's good to know, don't you think? Thank yeah, you or so if you're the much. dad that wants to sit, and I'm that dad. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, G. My pleasure. You don't really get to see the, the knocking of the camera with that, those, those balls getting thrown. But let me tell you something. You're a good shot. Um, <laughs> All right, so we have a video here. So we tried to stage this, and my idea was to throw it as close as I could to the camera, and I hit our producer in the head, right? So we're going to do it again and, and not hit her, right? <laughs> or can Mark not help himself? Oh! Okay, we got her again twice, <laughs> both times in a row. So, and here's the other thing, too. Those balls are really light, and they're soft, and they're made that way so you don't hurt anybody. So you got to put a little extra zip on them <laughs> in order to have accuracy. I felt horrible. And then uh, Kendra, she's such a sport, she actually had a little bruise on her head because the second time around she had her phone and the phone went into her forehead. So for like half of this shoot, she was walking around and this little bump was getting bigger and bigger and if, bigger. If you go there without the intention of trying to knock your producer out, you'll be fine. You'll have a good time. In my defense though, she produced me saying, hey, Throw this at the camera. She did, she did tell us to do that. Yes, I did. Um, don't try that with axes, though, right, Rance? 